welcome back guys so let's check out the mx linux based on fluxbox so let's start with the installation method so visit this website i will link it in the description and as you can see it has multiple versions so you have for the 32 bit and you have different versions as well so you have the kda version the fluxbox version and also an uh, i think xfce version as well yeah the first one is that um i think in this one i'm gonna try the fluxbox because that's uh, i haven't tried any fluxbox based distros it's gonna be my first so i'm gonna go for fluxbox so you can see it has different versions for different chipset um the latest one is is the 64 bit one and it's 21 mx linux 21 um so i think i'm gonna go for the 64 bit flux box version i'm gonna download this one the download will start automatically but i will suggest you use an external download measure because the speeds on the default one was very low so you can try an xdm or idm after the download is complete we will move the downloaded iso to the pen drive this pen drive is a, a ventoy pen drive so it's a bootable pen drive um, i've put a link how to make this in the cards or in the description so you can check that out it's very easy and it makes like uh, booting into multiple os is very easy now after that we need to create partition so we'll go to search and uh, search for partition and this program will pop up and this program you can make partition by shrinking the d drive so you can right click and shrink your d drive uh, make at least 20 gb um, like i've made and also make sure you create an additional 500 mb it comes very handy um, in creating boot partition or something so create an additional 500 mb partition as well along with the main partition so yeah now we will boot into our bios and uh, also make sure you have your secure boot off in the bio settings then we can just boot from our pen drive and uh, for my hp is different like escape key and f9 and then just this will pop up and just select the installer option dmx install and the installation will begin and it will take some time but after that um, you will see this window and the top it has the option um, so we'll go into the screen recording now uh, you can see this option called install ms linux we'll click on that so click on next and uh, it will be customized installation will be selected by default and then under the refresh icon just click on this one it will open the gparted so from here we will create our partition um, we already have created partition but we need to uh, for successful installation we will reformat it and then install so find your main partition then click on format to xt4 so now it has selected and also we will find the 500 mb partition so we'll format the 500 mb partition as well into xt4 and then we'll just click on the the tick icon and we'll apply the all the functions that we have set and it will refresh the partitions and once it does that we will close the window okay so now the operation has been completed um, so we can now close this window and now we will use this the main screen to set our partition and also set this mount space so our main partition that is a 20 gb one You will see in the drop down menu this will be set as boot the 500 mb1 and the main one will set as root okay so 500 mb1 will be boot and the 20 gb will be the root partition and then we will click on next 
and then select yes and it will start like installing the process and the partition to use for the the grub menu will be the 100 mb by default so we will leave it to that and after the process it will take some time and uh, when it's done it will ask you to click on the next to for further uh, installation so you have to um, like set up some networks and all you can um, select your um, region and time zone your clock and time zone then next and then create a username for your PC and the password as well so useful Linux installation that we do with the, all the other OS's also set in password okay then next and it will take some more time after the to complete the installation further so now the process has been completed so we will keep we have to do a, a reboot of the system and once when you have rebooted the device you will see this boot manager option to select between dual boot and uh, yes this is the MS Linux this is based on Fluxbox so by clicking the Windows button you can you have this quick search you can quick search for any application that you want and it's a very different uh, kind of interface that I've seen compared to the other the OS that we have used this one is called wildflower and it's based on Fluxbox you can see all the information of your device pretty good uh, it's not very like beautiful looking like other ones but I think it is the most powerful like I can see it has this very good amount of applications pre-installed that are very useful so you have this settings icon okay it's a browser I think yes it's gonna take some time I think uh, because I've not connected the internet I did not notice that so it has opened multiple tabs for the Firefox browser and I'm not going to the internet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and the Wi-Fi is now connected so now we can test the browser so this is the MX Linux blog the default home page this is the settings manager so you have to all the settings um, in this uh, row and column format so previously it was only in the row in the columns but now it will have rows as well so you have three columns and this is the so you can choose how your dog's gonna look so you can just click on one you have you can have combination one a combination of different dog and you can see this one looks like mac os and this looks beautiful um, but you have a lot of other options to choose from you can see how many browsers tabs has been opened and it's been clear closing one by one when I'm right clicking on it yeah. so yeah lots of different options to choose from and uh, you can see there's a, even a default clock on the home screen and uh, it makes it look pretty it's not very mac os looking like all the other linux tries to be um but our functionality wise i think this one is very powerful you can see it has all these features built into it so you do not have to manually install any appearance manager or like others i think i don't know if it's because of the flux box or it's just mx linux doing it i've seen mx the mx tools in other uh, linux versions as well 
the kda one as well i think it has so this is the settings and when it opens up in this small window it looks like uh, just an application uh, all the other settings are pretty normal the display the bluetooth and uh, this is something about audio it has to do with something with audio and uh, maybe for developers i think it's going to be a very useful um, linux this one i think it has a very good potential see all your device info in this terminal and it shows some pretty good specifications as well you have applications in the settings so you can directly you see how you, your uh, buttons looks like you can change the colors right from here um, the all the settings like these applications are in the settings so you do not have to um, uh, like launch an application it is built in the settings so that's good so you know where to go um, if you want to change something okay you can yes you can do something with the icons hmm. so lots of customization options as i can see here um, the icon management the icons can really do some kind of work to make it look even prettier and these are the mx tools which are which is why it is very popular this in us linux um you have this repository oh, okay not the right password okay we already have the package installer opened up in the background and it lists down all the linux the applications and uh, you can just download it directly from this so it makes it very easy um, i know like the pop os has this app store and that looks pretty amazing as well um, but functional wise this is going to be the same right you just need to select the application that you want and just straight forward download it uh, i think this one is not going to install because maybe some kind of platform error yeah i think it's, this was not going to install well Uh, let us try something else uh, we need to open it up again yeah i'll just put in my password okay so let's go and try audacity i think this one should work without any issues it's gonna ask me the prompt okay It's gonna take some time and when it's finally done you can see by searching that the audacity has been installed you can see the audacity so this works absolutely and uh, it's a really good way to like you don't have to uh, have a app store like you just can search for the apps and this is just not it um, if you see all the different tabs this is the wallpapers and everything but in the different tabs you can see it has all the different repository from other sources so you have mx and you have the debian as well and you have from the flat pack the most popular repository so if we allow it and authenticate it it will just download all the package lists and flat pack has one of the most uh, vast library so let us see how much application does it list out right now you can see it has lots of applications wow it never ending it has lots of it so that is really good so you can just click on any application that you want and download it that is pretty good that is pretty good um, like it's not very appealing as the app store but for the functionality version like functionality wise i think this is the way to go and it's pretty good all the codecs as well if you have some issue with the codecs you can just one download one click download all of it
and this is all the servers from where it is connected right now it's connected from india you have other servers as well if you want to change so i think that was all for the settings um, definitely you have all the general settings that you see and this one is pretty good actually you can create the use usb the bootable usb from here and the app is pre-installed and that is pretty good so that was the max tools now this is the settings wow the they are look so similar and uh, i'm not sure about these tools okay okay you can create uh, custom docs from here wow that is very uh, like detailed customization deep customization then you can find your, all your applications from here this overall things very powerful this is the um okay you can see all the documents from here and uh, you can like browse through your settings from this small options as well and this is the file manager and i think this one is very uh, like uh, general file manager that we see um, it's pretty good actually it has this one in built in so this is a pretty good um the mx linux i think for um for the time i have used it it's very looking promising so you should definitely give it a try and i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one